Yeah. In fact, Sachin, I have seen one thumbnail which claimed speak in 30 minutes. Can you can you imagine this? I mean, this is the height. This is limit. Yeah, your thumbnail must be attractive. Definitely. But it should not be deceiving. It should not deceive people. And that kind of videos, if you see, they have millions of hits. Okay. Communication skill, developing your English fluency and confidence. It's a lifetime course. Lifetime course. It's not a three-month course. It's a, I will not use the word course. It's a lifetime commitment. You can't date with English or language. You have to be committed. Dating means dating is just for one or two months or six months. But commitment is like a marriage. You have to be committed for that. Sir, uh, my name is Sachin and uh, I'm from Jharkhand. And uh, my question is, how much time it will take to learn English? People are saying it's a three-month course or six-month course. Is it true or uh, it's a myth? Oh, uh, awesome question. I mean, this is the question uh, everyone wants to know answer. And the answer for this question is, see, the, you, you use the word course. What is a course? Course is like, uh, for example, I am into IT field and I'm doing a course of uh, CDAC. That course is for six months, if I'm not wrong. Fine. That is the course. That is the syllabus that is fixed. And after six months, you have to just look for the job. A technical education, if you are taking, you know, if you're learning a technical subject, it, it has a course. Language improvement is not a technical course. See the difference, understand the difference between technical course and language. Understand the difference. In technical course, you have syllabus. One, two, three, four, five. And you have to study that. You have to study that. And you have to buy hard that by heart it because you have to give an exam it can be oral exam or written exam right and that's all and after the course is over you are not required to remember everything not required suppose you are into coding i mean you are into it field what you have to do is okay i know c c plus plus java python fine and when you're actually required to code when you go to a organization when you're working you can refer a book and you can code you can ask some questions to someone who oh, i have the problem in this coding you can sort it out so a technical course is a course which ends after six months or three months or one year. Let us come to language. Language is not any course. Language has no syllabus. Language has no syllabus. Language course never ends. It's a continuous and never ending process. Understand this thing. We, we are, I mean, I, you're right. The question is really valid. Some people say 21 day course. Some people are selling, selling the downloadable courses. Yeah. In fact, Sachin, I have seen one thumbnail which claimed speak in 30 minutes. Can you, can you imagine this? I mean, this is the height. This is limit. Yeah, your thumbnail must be attractive. Definitely. But it should not be deceiving. It should not deceive people. And that kind of videos, if you see, they have millions of hits. There are millions of it. I mean, people want that. People just want uh, that, what is easy, what is fun, what um, is quick. And uh, those creators know that, that this is what people want. And therefore, this, this kind of uh, uh, thumbnails are there. And people, unfortunately, innocently, unknowingly, carelessly are watching and following that. And some people are feeling like thinking, okay, uh, three months and then after three months, the reality is in front of them. After six months, they know what, what's going to happen. To be precise with your question, your the answer is there is no time limit. Okay. Communication skill, developing your English fluency and confidence, it's a lifetime course. Lifetime course. It's not a three-month course. It's a, I will not use the word course. It's a lifetime commitment. You can't, I will give you one metaphor. It's not dating. You can't date with English or language. You have to be committed. Dating means dating is just for one or two months or six months. But commitment is like a marriage. You have to be committed for that. It's a lifestyle.
it's a lifestyle it's a way of living it's a way of thinking you have to leave the english habit the english lifestyle it's if you are thinking about 3 months and 6 months forget that this is not for you because everyone is just you know thinking oh uh -huh, after 3 months i will be fluent after 6 months i will be able to communicate in a better way these people are only thinking about the results and they are not thinking about the process because understand to develop sentences to form the sentences to form the tenses you call your brain should consume lot of lot of english lot of english and for that you have to change your lifestyle you have to change your habits you have to change your daily routine you just can't go and cram some grammar rules and then go and try to it's not going to happen because grammar rules are only rules but actually how english is used is only uh, absorbed by your brain when you change your habits and your lifestyle and when you speak more when you speak more slowly your communication your fluency gets better day in and day out so understand it's a lifetime process it's a continuous process in fact it's a work in progress communication skill is always work in progress you know you may have seen uh, some boards yeah. in india work in progress road under road under construction so in fact i believe my own communication is road under construction it's continuous process it's never ending process it's a lifetime process it should just keep on going and going and going and going some of you will say that what do you mean we should study english for life lifetime we don't have other work to do wrong wrong you are not here to study english you are here to use english don't study english use english see the difference is very big actually okay. profound difference don't study english study is for technical subjects use you have to use english to gain knowledge english must be used to gain knowledge english must be used to satisfy okay satiate your curiosity if you use english as a language to gain knowledge maybe it is from books maybe it is from podcast maybe it is from audio book maybe it is from other people when you use english and also when you use english to express your knowledge english starts getting better but our problem is we don't want english to get better slowly our problem is we want english to get better quickly yeah we don't want step 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 no we want step 1 to step 10 directly we want to bypass all the number 2 to number 9 steps that's the problem and that's the reason why students are suffering corporate employees are suffering in this field and the irony is i mean the tragedy is people don't like all these things whatever i'm saying they want that which is um sweet to the to, like a music to their ears they want to listen that kind of videos and they are doing that since last two months and six months and one year and four years and five years nothing is changed and you know uh, you do whatever you want you will realize how much time it takes because language is all about neural connections so you can't fast forward anything it is going to take time it will take time nothing can be changed you can't fast forward that it doesn't you can't say that oh my interview is there after 20 days so i will be fluent in 20 days it, it's going to take 6 months and 12 months and all it is going to take we have to accept it ha huh. for interviews there are different techniques which we can use and we can crack the interviews even though your english is average but it's going to take time okay so answer at the end the bottom line is this sachin don't ask this question how much time will yeah. it take ask yourself how can i enjoy the process don't okay. ask how much time it will take to reach the destination ask about whether i'm going to enjoy the destination the journey or not the, the journey is more important than destination okay okay sir thank you sir thank you for clearing my doubt yeah, yeah. it's a continuous yes. process okay yes sir